Hello, friends. Happy Friday to you. Yes, I just used you as a mirror. <laughs> Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. I don't know if I'm live. Am I live? I think I'm live. What up, yo? It's Friday. Let's start with Good Morning, Miss Carrie. Let's start with a list of things April didn't do today. What? Wake up on time. That's the big one. <laughs> Prep for the show. Another big one. Hi, Miss Heather. I'm glad you're here. Linda's at 10. High five, Linda. You always cheer me up, girl. I'm going to go with like a seven. It's Friday. I like a Friday. Hello, Miss Andrea. So, um, three. Wash my hair. Didn't happen today, you guys. I have a dry shampoo story for you. Good morning, Kelly. Oh, hi, Jack. Hi, Beverly. I love seeing all your gorgeous faces. Hi, Aunt Marilyn. Andrea says, I just bought and downloaded ebooks from you. High five. Yes. I love that for you. I hope you like them. I'm really happy with them. So, you know, I'd say that's all that counts, but it's not because it's really important for you guys to like them, not for me to like them. Anyway, good morning, Colleen. Good morning, Andrea. Linda says, make it a 10, April. Carrie says, Friday. All right. So, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, here's the thing. Like, even though I'm never a 10, like, I don't really feel the great... I, I'm not a 10 person, and that's okay with me, right? Like, I think we're all... We all kind of balance. I'm putting this here, not because I'm doing a commercial for Diet Coke, but because the lighting seems to be weird this morning. Good morning, Miss Misty. Uh, Colleen says, another dinner success. Thanks to you. High five. What? I love it. All right. What are we doing? How are we? You guys all look amazing. Um, Andrew says, I loved something else I bought from you as well. I love all your recipes. You guys are like major ego boost today. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Lisa. Um, yeah, I'm not prepped today. I just copied and pasted yesterday's, um, links. So there's that. Marilyn likes my earrings. That was super gross. Sorry. Um, these are paparazzi, I think. So I used to, you guys know that I, maybe you don't know. I don't know. I used to sell the LuLaRoe and, um, I would, I never sold paparazzi, but I would include them. I would include like earrings and stuff as as gifts in um in the packages sometimes so but when you are a paparazzi what I don't know what it's called distributor or whatever um you have to buy like a certain amount each month which was fine like because I was just using it for um gifts and it, that's exactly what I wanted um but what happened was after I quit doing the LaRoe I forgot to cancel my paparazzi stuff <laughs> So I, I ended up with like two or three boxes of earrings um, that I really just did not need, but I love because I just love earrings. You guys know that. Andrea says I got an email book deal and I think it was nine ninety seven for the total. Yeah. So um, hold on one second and I will I'll go through that with you. Good morning, mom. Happy Friday. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know I'm disorganized today. It's Friday. I should have my shit together. Mary says I buy a lot of pop brats. Yeah, I literally have thousands of pieces. I love it. It's I mean, and I don't I don't sell it. So like this is not a commercial or anything. Um, but I I don't know. It doesn't bother my ears, which a lot of earrings bother my ears. Um, and they're cute and they're five dollars. Like I can't be a pick me up for five dollars. You know, just can't be it. Beat it, just beat it. I just think they're cute. And they change all the time, which is dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, somebody asked about the ebook. So we have the ebook shop. Um, and individually, the ebooks are $5 a piece. So if you wanted just like a chicken ebook or whatever, um, it would be $5. Hold on, where's my. Um... I know I have the. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, okay. Here is a link to just the um, ebooks. Copy, paste, ebooks. Um, okay, so if you just want individual ebooks, those are $5 a pop. 
um, in the shop we have a few bundles. We have a holiday bundle and then we have a bundle for all the category ones, um, like the, you know, chicken, sides, whatever. But, 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 there's a big but there. Um, there's a big but in the seat too. Because <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. Um, uh, if you are an email subscriber, you um, should have gotten an email from me uh, this week when it went, when, 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 um, when we opened the shop with a, an email subscriber, um, like only bundle. So, and that was what the 997 was. And that was for, it's, it's a separate bundle. It's not one that's offered in the shop. So, um, yes, that's, that's what we've got. So if you are an email subscriber, you will always get like the, you'll get the first, you'll be notified first of stuff. And, um, you'll usually get like a super secret deal. Um, that said, if you don't, if you don't want me in your email, I totally get it. Like, look, I talk a lot. I write a lot. I'm everywhere. I, it's overwhelming, right? You can just go to the shop and we've got lots of amazing stuff there. So yeah, yeah, that's the deal. <laughs> Uh, Linda says your emails keep going to my junk folder. Yes, yeah, so you have to, um, it depends on the email provider. Some of them you have to like mark it as safe or drag and drop it over to the inbox or, uh, it just depends on the email provider, how you have to do it. So I know it's annoying, but I get that all the time too. I sign up for people's emails that I want and then, um, they end up in my spam and I'm so annoyed because like I want to see those emails right I signed up for them because I want to see them thank you very much Gmail for doing that and then the ones that get through are like these stupid ones that I didn't even sign up for so frustrating anyway if you want to sign up for our emails and you haven't already um, I'm dropping the link in the comments now too so uh, for the emails we send out um, anytime the plane yeah Anytime um, I publish a new recipe, um, you'll get an email, and then I typically send out like between one and three, just depending on what's going on, emails a week with um, just chatty stuff and recipe suggestions. And you know, like I said, if we put something new in the shop or have a new product, um, the email list is always the first to know. What is happening? Is that a glare? Is that a screw up with my makeup? What is happening right now? I need, to, I need to glare. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of makeup, guys, I don't wear a ton of makeup. I didn't even put eyeshadow on this morning, which is why I'm like, I don't know what that is. Um, but it's not really makeup. So speaking of body care, hygiene, whatever. So I told you the other day that I bought a new dry shampoo because I'm gross and I don't wash my hair every day or even close to every day. So I typically do like two days of dry shampoo a week. And um, I was trying to get away from the aerosols because I feel like I just breathe in so much of it when I, even though they work really well, I just feel like I breathe in too much of it when I use them. So uh, yeah, so I switched to this new one that was highly recommended on Amazon and I got the one for brown or darker hair because my roots are brown or dark, right? <clears throat> so I think maybe I misread it or maybe it's just poorly worded but I think what it really meant was brown or darker complexion because um when I put it um on my roots like it literally turned my hairline like grayish brown it was it works really well I ended up I pulled out my blow dryer brush thing and went through and then just washed the edge of my hair and I think it's worked fine but I'm not gonna lie I um I was like, what just happened? I looked in the mirror and like, it looked like somebody had just painted charcoal. Um, it was like grayish brown. <laughs> anyway, but now it looks fine. So it's good. We're good. I just need to remember to do that before I do my makeup, not after I do my makeup. Um, Andrea says, I know a lot of people who do that. You're not gross. Oh, I know. I'm just being silly. Um, yeah, I only wash my hair about once a week. It just gets too much. Um, it just gets too much. I don't know. I, showers take a long time. I just, you know, anyway, at least washing hair does. Okay. So that was my fiasco with dry shampoo this morning. I'm not going to lie. I was a little worried that it was going to show up on the camera like weird, but it doesn't. And in person it looks fine. So I think we're okay. Whew. 
Anyway. I was saying I lost track of what I was saying so yeah so um, I can't remember if I gave you the link to that but if I gave you the link to that um, maybe only get the one for dark hair if you also have a dark complexion I think next time I when I reorder it which it's a decent sized bottle so it probably won't be for a while but I think when I reorder it I'll do the one the other one because like I said it looked a little freaky in the mirror this morning it was like a zombie like complexion I don't know. Anyway, Marilyn says, I need to get the book. Mm, yeah, you do, boo. Yeah, you do. It's good. The Dinner Hero book. So the um, ebooks are all stuff they're reader favorites from the website, but the Dinner Hero book is almost all um, is almost all recipes that are not on the website. There are there's a few, but um, typically. We hope it goes well, Miss Michelle. Um, yeah, so how are you guys? Are you guys good? Rhonda says, I try to do mine every other day. My shoes are super long and I hate drying it. Yeah, so my mine isn't super long right now, but it's crazy thick. Um, so same thing. Like, I and I, I, I do air dry mine. I, I, I wash my hair at night and then I just let it dry overnight. Um, but then you wake up with like crazy hair. I don't know. It's... I just kind of want to cut it all off. I'm not going to lie. I've had literal dreams. So, you know, guys know. Maybe you don't know. I don't know. My daughter, Josie, likes short hair. She keeps her hair very short. If I don't know that it's touched her shoulders since she was an infant. Like, um, she has me shave, like, shave the back into a little pixie, and then she keeps it a little bit longer in front. Anyway, I'm not going to lie. I've seriously considered giving myself that haircut. If I wasn't stressed about, like, being able to get it even in the back by myself, I might skip it. But... I mean, I might actually, I might really do it, but I'm just very worried about being able to, like, do it evenly in the back. And there's nobody in my household right now that I trust with a pair of clippers, so. And I'll tell you, my hairdresser won't do it. <laughs> Even if I was going to my hairdresser, which I'm not right now. Um, she's so funny because every time I want to cut it short, like, you know, guys, I, you've seen me. I've had a bob um, for, you know, I go back and forth, so I grow it long and then I do it short and whatever anyway like the last time I did the bob was maybe like here-ish right it was it was below my ears but above my shoulders and um that stressed my hairdresser out so much <laughs> she was I don't know sometimes she watches um fee I'm sorry it does it stresses you out when I ask you to cut my hair short she doesn't like it I mean she likes the end result but I don't know she's always worried that I'm gonna get mad I'm like it grows it's hair it grows back it's not a big deal um, but I am worried that I would like fully butcher the back. If my sister lived closer, I would trust her. She's done her own hair a few times. But anyway, Amy says my daughter's showers tonight. Somebody just said they only wash their hair every 20 days. I actually did last year. I did the, I mean, it's kind of called the curly girl method. I don't have curly. I don't have, I have like wavy hair, not really curly hair. And you don't wash your hair. You just rinse it. I, you rinse through it with, um, conditioner. And I did that for probably five months. Um, my hair was really healthy. My scalp got some buildup on it though. And then I got back, we went on vacation and it, it really wasn't convenient, um, to carry like shampoo and conditioner with you. So I just ended up using, you know, whatever was in the hotel or whatever, whatever was sharing. So then I got out of the habit of doing it, but yeah, my hair looked great when I did that. And I, I didn't wash it with shampoo for solid four months, maybe more. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. So I don't know. You guys, I prepped nothing. I have nothing to talk about. I blew my whole wad on that Cosmo quiz yesterday. Did you guys enjoy that? Was that fun? That was kind of fun, but I don't know. Um, what are you guys having tonight? Tonight's Cantina Night. Those of you who don't know, we do what we call Cantina Night every Friday. So um, it just means we do a little, but a little bit of a special. We eat dinner in a different place. So when it was cooler, we were eating in the yard. Um, now that it's not cooler, we eat in um, our living room. We have a big L-shaped um, couch there, and we eat around the table. And, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, and the kids are allowed to have soda, which is exciting, and we usually do a little bit special. So I don't know what we're going to make tonight. I'm going to be honest. Oh, another thing April didn't do today, or hasn't done yet, should have already done. I have not made my grocery order. 
I'm seriously considering just ordering pizzas tonight. Have you guys tried the Aldi Take and Bake, not Take and Bake, Self Rising, Rising Crust, whatever they're called, like the, the ones that puff up? Their pizzas are so, um, I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. I think it's going to be a pizza night. I'm feeling pizza. I'm feeling pizza. I made ramen last night. It was good. It was good. It's so crazy how easy it is to make ramen, ramen taste like super fancy. I just dumped a bag of frozen, I mean this is a, this is one of the recipes in my Dinner Hero book, but I just dumped a bag of uh, like frozen Asian vegetables in it and um, some leftover shredded chicken and oh my gosh you guys I just discovered this just discovered you slash oh if you're not putting everything bagel seasoning in your ramen you are missing out it is so good because normally I just sprinkle like I have the sesame seeds that I'll sprinkle over it and then some green onion but <clears throat> for whatever reason I decided I was gonna grab the everything bagel seasoning and do that instead game changer game changer oh my goodness I don't know did I just change the world maybe maybe sprinkle some um yeah every, you know what do you guys know what I'm talking about the everything bagel or everything but the bagel whatever you used to only be able to get it at Trader Joe's but now you can get it pretty much everywhere I got a huge thing of it at um Sam's Club or Costco a while ago Whew, so good put the like soft boiled eggs on top and shake oh so good anyway <sighs> I think I just changed the world I think we're gonna end on that note guys <laughs> go ahead and check out the ebook shop and the dinner hero shop and the just shop shop whatever you know guys um, or don't that's fine too check out the website um, y'all are awesome Maricela, what did you spring the seasonally seasoning on? I love everything bagel seasoning. On my ramen last night, I put it on my ramen, and it was just ridiculously delicious. So good. I have, um, Carrie says I miss Trader Joe's so good. I don't, I don't have a, like, Trader Joe's is fine for me. We don't have one near us, so it's like, our closest one is about a half an hour away, and every, every time I've tried to go, the parking lot is a nightmare, and it's busy, and their food's all, like, weirdly individually packaged, which I'm not a super big fan of. <gasps> Rhonda's having five guys. I love five guys. Oh, I love five guys. Ugh. 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 Alright, cookbook shop. Val says, what's in the seasoning? That is an excellent question. Um, I think there's sesame seeds and, like, dried garlic and onion flakes and... I don't know. Delicious. It's just delicious. It's so good. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Have a great day. I will check you on Monday. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we won't do Monday. Will we do Monday? Maybe we'll do Monday. We're just gonna have to find out.